Hello, I'm Storm Tracker 18 Weather Chief Meteorologist Matt Schaefer, and Happy New Year! Depending on when you're watching this, it may or may not be the new year yet. However, it will be the new year if we look at the universal time. That is the coordinated universal time to be exact. At the point that I am recording this, it is right around 7 o'clock. Now you can see that here 18 is 6 o'clock and 58 minutes, so a minute from 7 when I'm recording this. But the top time, this is UTC and it is January 1st. That happens because we're six hours off of the universal time. Meteorologists use it, so all of my weather data, that's coming in in the new year when you're watching this. The reason we have this is like meteorology, other industries like aviation is another big one. You have lots of people working all over the world and you want them to be on the same time so that they're all coordinated with each other and the data can coordinate itself. You have planes fly across time zones quite frequently so it's just better to have a universal time. And yes, the CUT, Coordinated Universal Time, actually is abbreviated UTC because the universal time also has a universal abbreviation no matter what language we are in. So as we go forward, not a whole lot to track on Futurecast. Um, clouds moving in as we have essentially a system passing to the south of us on your Friday. We will see snow in southeast Wisconsin, just clouds from that system in our area and then fog again overnight. So here's our forecast, nine degrees as we're going overnight into your New Year's Day morning, mostly becoming partly cloudy with a chance of patchy fog. New Year's Day, 28 degrees, mostly cloudy and mild, southeast winds of three to eight, and we will see our temperatures climb into the weekend into the low 30s, that's above average, 24 is the average high, seven is the average low, all of them above that in my forecast. Mild, in fact, as we're going into early next week, low, mid, perhaps even briefly upper 30s, that comes on Monday when there's a slight chance of snow late in the day. Best chance is north of Eau Claire. In fact, even north of Highway 8 for the better chances. But we could still see some flakes all across western Wisconsin. Another slight chance Wednesday. But other than that, there's not a lot of precip in the forecast to start out 2021.